Okay, what we're going to show you is how to install a stainless steel tube on a case SDX40. Uh, we have a stainless steel tube part number 55363. It looks just like this here, the one it's holding. And I'm just going to show you a couple things to look for on the drill itself. If you look at the wing that's up here, you can see that there is a seed guide made by case. And then there's two studs and two uh, nylocks on there. Uh, you're simply going to remove those and install our stainless steel tube. But in some instances, as you see down here, in this row unit here, there's there's actually just one stud and the other one's kind of broken off here. You can do one of two things. When you install the stainless, before you install the stainless steel tube, you can weld a, a 3 8 threaded stud there. And uh, that'll allow you to have two, two mounting positions for the stainless steel tube. And or you can take, once you run the stainless steel, install the stainless steel tube with the one stud, you can take and clamp it to the seed tube up above, up above with the stainless steel clamp. Or if you think that uh, you're not going to have any trouble, maybe even a heavy duty tie strap just to keep it stabilized. Ed's going to go ahead and show you the installation on that. How simple it is and the, the design that we got here. I'm going to do is remove this nut. In the washer, slide the tube down through the top, and line my nut, my stud up, put my washer, and my nut on. And of course, tighten it down. Okay, so now that it's installed, the stainless steel tube is designed not to drag your seed or drag into the furrow, and you can see it's further, further back than about maybe about an inch than the uh, seed guide there coming off the seed tube. But what you can do is, if you see, we installed quarter inch tubing. You can actually take and feed quarter inch tubing through that stainless steel tube to your desired length. You can take and twist to the natural, you know, form and have it drag closer to the seed. But that's a that's up to your discretion there. Once they're installed, you see here from the top. Um, see where we fed the stainless steel tube here into or the, the quarter inch tubing into the stainless steel tube and here like I was saying you could probably put a uh, stainless steel hose clamp around here just to stabilize the top of this and or if you decide you want to use a John Guest quick connect just to connect your stainless steel tube you can do that as well and let it drip through the tube but uh, the simple installation uh, depending on how many rows you can see it it took us less than two minutes yes to install. Maybe consider also if you making your order to order the the nylocks we'll send them with them at an additional cost but uh, you won't have to go shopping around for them. Just be sure to ask for them because they don't come, the kit doesn't come with them. Hopefully this helped out and thank you for looking at Agassil's video.